Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Hey Day. Now today we are in the valley and we've just had a recent update. What I'm going to focus on is how to actually collect the animals, know how many you've got and then take them to the sanctuary building. If we have a look at the game at the moment you'll see there is my truck located just there. Uh, that's me little Red Santa. Now if you look at my icon there you'll see there are three little Dots. Now each of those dots is a representation for an animal collected. So at the moment my actual truck hasn't collected any of the escaped animals. There's a sanctuary down there. If I click on it, it says deliver lost items here. So I need to go and collect up to a maximum of three of those animals. Now basically that's what I'm gonna do now. There's an elephant just over here. Okay, there is a giraffe over there as well. I've got a hippo there. There's another hippo over here as well. There's a fuel station. There's an elephant. So there's quite a lot of animals in the vicinity that I could actually collect. So I'm going to do a little bit of a round robbing here, collect some of those and then bring them back to the sanctuary. Now, my advice is to actually stay within the sanctuary location if you're looking to focus on the animals itself. You'll see there's a lot there that can be caught and there are also community tasks you can do that will allow you to collect more as well. Now, remember, this is a very challenging valley. We've got to collect up to 400 as a group. So as long as everybody is collecting those wild animals and returning them to the sanctuary then that is fantastic you can see down there some of my friends within the game are actually doing that so let's go do it i'm going to come around in a circle so i'm going to start off coming over to uh, this direction just here we're going to take this one so we're going to go here first of all that means I will get the rewards for this one. That will then add tokens to my piggy bank as well, which is wonderful. And that is now done. I'm going to go to the next building and I will be collecting this first beautiful giraffe here. So I can drive to it and collect it or I can just ignore it and just go past like you would with a chicken. And it just collects it at the same time. So there we go. It steps off to the side. Animal has been found and you'll see the actual circle dot has now been highlighted. Right, I go click the building and that is now done as well. Now if I come back to the actual sanctuary and I click on the sanctuary where the port is, I can't actually see any information at the moment because I'm too far away. But that's okay, I'll come back to that in a moment. Now we come round to the next building, I'll do that one as well. And that takes me a little bit closer to the actual sanctuary location and I wonder if I can tap on it now. Now if I go tap on it now, you'll see there my icon that was there has now changed. And it says I can claim 82 green and 31 blue for returning the one animal. Now if I wanted to, I could go back and just do that, return one animal. And it's fine, that is okay. Or what I can do to increase my chances of getting more tokens is to collect a second animal. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to come round and do this one here. Now this time I'm going to stop on the animal in question and I'm going to collect my little hippo. You'll now see the animal's been found, it's been picked up and I've now got two of the dots. And if I come on over here and I click on this one here, you'll see that my animal has been added and it's now increased my chances of getting more rewards by 10%. So basically if I deliver multiple animals, I get more tokens. So 10% more tokens in this case. So 138, 90 and 25, very nice indeed. Now I've got a choice here. What I can do is just continue around looking and pick up other ones. Or I can head on over to this beautiful elephant that's over there. Or I could go down in this direction and come round the back. Now I'm going to keep it nice and simple for the video. I'm going to come on over to this building just here. We're going to take that one there. There we go. We'll get my beautiful little bacon and eggs done and I claim my tokens down there. I'm going to come to the beautiful sanctuary animal and it won't let me do it. So why not? Okay, there we go. I had to zoom in a bit. Right, okay, we've now collected that one and you'll see the third dot is now highlighted. That means I've collected all three animals. So I need to go to the sanctuary now. Now I just tap on the sanctuary and you'll see it says drive here which is two. The percentage has changed to 25 and I've collected three of the animals and my actual tokens have increased as well. So driving here takes me to the sanctuary.
Now, the question is, how do I actually deposit those? Well, I actually don't have to do anything. All I need to do is just to drive to the sanctuary, and now my animals are being unloaded. So it says they are carefully removing the animals from my truck. Please wait. And I need to wait 25 or sorry, 29 minutes and 30 odd seconds now. So basically 30 minutes to claim my reward. Now, if I want to, I can speed it up, which is great. It means I can then use five diamonds and then continue on my way looking for more animals. Now, if I actually go to the total at the moment, you'll see the total hasn't changed. It's still 30 or 400 because my animals haven't been deposited yet. But I'm in that cycle of unloading at the moment. So I don't actually have to do anything. But what I'm going to do for the video is spend the five diamonds. So let's do the five diamonds. I'm going to press that once then press that twice. My daily quest has been completed. My tokens have been added. And in a moment, it will say that three animals have been deposited. There you go. Right. The three dots have now gone back down to empty. And if I look at the grand total for the team, we've gone up to 33. So there you go. They have now been delivered. And I'm back again to looking for sanctuary animals or just continuing on my journey. Now, I could stay in the same area if I wanted to. I've got 19 fuel there. There's another one that's down there. There's another one there as well. Uh, and there's even more over there. There is a sanctuary over in this location I could drive towards, which is good. There's fuel stations there. Uh, so I'm actually looking around the clouds at the moment just to see what sanctuary locations there are. Now, considering where I am at the moment, I'm in the location where there's bridges. So I've got to be careful on that one as well. So I could go across the bridge over to here, collect that one there, then come around and do the elephant over there, then come around and do that one there, and then maybe come back again to the sanctuary. Or if there's another sanctuary in this location, I could go there. Now, there is a sanctuary there. So when I come and collect uh, this animal that's over here, maybe there will be a few more in that direction, which is more beneficial. So let's go try it now. So I'm here at this moment and I need to collect another three. We've already done that one building there. So I'm going to go to the diner here. And my daily quest has now been completed, which is perfect. Now, in a moment, I'm going to head on over to the bar because I'm going to get my first pig. And I want to show that off as a video as well in a moment. So we just leave that as it is for the moment. And I will come back and do that a little bit later. Right, the building has been done. We're going to have a little look before we start progressing anywhere. There's some animals over here to be collected. Now, what I can do, I suppose, is come down across the bridge and then come around the game and see how that does for me. So let's try this one. We're going to go across the bridge to this building here. And there we go. It's now moving. And we've now made the deposit there. So 15 tokens added to my piggy bank. It's beautiful. Right, there is a beautiful little hippo there. There's one over there as well. And there's not really much more down in that location that I can see that are covered by the clouds. There's nothing being revealed in that direction. All of the animals seem to be down where I am. So, yeah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, well... Hmm, what to do, I wonder. Okay, well, it's not so important if I don't do the animals now, but let's go collect them anyway. All right, we're going to come over to this one here. This is a help task. Now, uh, if I go do the help task, it's great. It takes me back in the direction I want to go. But is it one that I really want? Hmm, okay, 14 fuel. Okay, let's go and do a fuel task, I think. There's fuel down there, which is five. No, nope, that's not beneficial either. I'm going to go off in this direction. Okay, I don't like what's being offered to me, so I'm going to take that one there. And going to come around to this building just there as well requires a tomato. Oh my goodness me, I don't have any tomatoes left. So I am growing some for the actual valley task, which is 4 hours and 36 minutes. Can I see any tomatoes in the paper? Let's go have a look. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. There's no tomatoes there. Let's go request some tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to donate some deeds to my friend. And we correct that one. And fingers crossed I get some help on this one. Now, I hope so. You never know, though. Sometimes I'm lucky. Sometimes I'm not. And we advertise there. And look at that. Beautiful indeed. So thank you very much. And I'm going to say thank you on that one. Thank you. 
Then we go back to the ballet, and then we donate there, which is good. That one is now done. Right, now we're going to come down to this animal here, collect that one. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing I've now got the first token, or the first animal collected there, one dot again. But I'm down to nine fuel, so this could be a bit of a problem here. So we're going to go to the windmill, which is the next one on my route. Okay, I will do that as well. Now, if I look at my fuel options for recharging, okay, I'm up to 18 of 100. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge to do this one to get it up a little bit further. Uh, that's basically not good points. Even tomorrow's again, it's very low on the, uh, the suns. So this valley is definitely going to be tough for me. Hmm, okay, well, we're going to come around to the fuel station. That's three, it's on the route anyway. I'm skipping the animals, which is fine. Okay, uh, buy fuel, three, four, three diamonds. So that's one diamond of fuel. Do I take it or not? Okay, well, I need some fuel, so let's take it anyway. Right, now, there is a sanctuary down at the bottom there, or there's the sanctuary over there where I just came from, so... Let's go and have a little think about this one, which is the quickest route to get there. So we're going to drive there, which is two. We're going to take that building there. And I've already done some of the other buildings anyway. You know, that one is now done already. That one's already done as well. But I can drive back to the sanctuary with the one. So that is okay. That's exactly five I've got. There's not really much more I can collect in time. And that will deposit the one. So as a challenge, it's very, very challenging. I'm not going to spend the speed up this time. I'm going to leave it because I don't have the fuel anyway. But basically, that's how it works. You can pick up one, two, or three. You can go and deposit them. You can drive around collecting. You're going to run out of fuel. Uh, do you want to take the risk and lose the actual animals? Or do you want to go and do it? The decision's yours at the end of the day. But it is actually very simple. And I hope this little playthrough gave you the right idea on what you need to do. Okay, I'm off to play the actual in-game game now, and I will be uploading another video on that one soon. Don't forget to comment below on this video as usual. Like it, share it, tell your friends about it, and hit the beautiful subscription button and that lovely notification. The like is very important, as is the subscription. Thank you very much, and have a good Christmas if I don't see you. Bye now.